Today we are going to create this hand tracking text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. Not only just text, you can basically put any effect between your fingers and make sure to watch this tutorial till the end and I will show you how to create this lightning effect in your hands as well. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and in order to create these kind of animations, you need a video of your hand. So I already have one. So just take out your smartphone or camera, just record your hand, something like that. Make sure your hand is visible completely and you can move your fingers around. And also you will notice if I zoom in on all of my fingers, I have made some dots using a pen. So these are basically going to help us to track our fingers. So you can do this too, to make your tracking easy. Just place like some of these dots on your fingers like that using a pen and after that record your hand and you are ready to go. Once you're done with this, you can import the video in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. So let's drag it onto the composition icon. Now let's pick some points from where we can like start tracking. So I'm going to start from here and I think this looks good and let's trim it to this point. It's completely up to you, you can like pick whatever duration you want. Let's trim this and trim com to work area. So this is the work video that we are going to work with. Now, before we start tracking, there is one more thing that you can do in order to make your job easier. So for that, you can select this layer and let's search for curves effect. Let's drag it onto this footage and I'm going to change my curves to something like that. You can see that now these dots are like very clearly visible and we can basically make it very extreme. Don't worry, we can remove this effect later on once we are happy with the track. So after that, you can select this right click click on pre-compose, make sure move all attribute is set. Let's call this one video and just click on OK. So here we have our video and we are ready to track this out. Now in order to track this, we can go to windows and make sure that your tracking panel is enabled. And after that, you can open it up like that. And in order to track this, we can select this video, then click on track motion. Now it will take you inside this window and we have this tracking point. Let's go to the very beginning like that now we can zoom in and you can like track whatever point you want basically we are going to track all of these five five points so let's begin by tracking this thumb only now i'm going to click and drag and move it over here and here you can see we are able to see our dot and we have enabled the tracking over there now in order to track this we can click on this icon but there is there are a few problems that you will run into if i click on that you can see that it is tracking but after that you can see our thumb is moving here and our tracking point is moving in some other direction. And in order to fix this, what we can do is basically we can increase our search area. So I am going to increase this box and after that I am going to increase this box as well. Now if I press play, you can see that it will start tracking but again it will move because our thumb is moving like way too fast. So you can increase it more but if you don't want then there is there are a few things that you can do. So let's track it. And as soon as it starts drifting, we can stop it by simply again clicking on that. So I'm going to track it and you can see that it is moving away. So you can use the page down key or page up key to move forward and backward like one frame or you can just simply use the cursor like that. Now let's manually pick points. So this point we can move it to this one. Let's press page down. Let's track this one. Let's move once again and let's pick this. So once it is back on track, you can again click on this or you can click on this icon. This will basically move it like one frame like that. And let's do it for a couple of frames. And sometimes you will have to increase this area because sometimes the tracking point won't stick to it. So now you can see it is sticking. Now we can again click on plus and as you can see that it is sticking. Let's keep on going. and it is sticking nicely. Now our finger thumb is moving way too fast so we can probably zoom in and let's just move it one frame at a time. Now you don't have to be very precise because anyways we are going to use some text layer. You just have to make sure that this is moving across with the thumb and I think this is moving fine. So we can again click on this play and here you can see it has again gone off track. Let's just pick the point where it has gone off track. So this one we can get it back and after that let's track the next one. 
and now it is back on track now we can click on play and it will again start tracking now in the same way you can track this whole footage and i'm going to quickly fast forward this step so now the tracking is done and we are ready to apply this data into a null object so for that let's create a null and i'm going to call this one finger one so here we have our null and we are ready to copy this data so in order to do that let's click on edit target and select this null which we just created click on ok after that click on apply and then click on ok now it will copy all of this data to this null object now if i press play you can see that this null will like move with our thumb as we are moving it now just like we did with this thumb we have to track these four fingers as well again we are going to repeat the same step and once you're done with this you will have like five null objects and i will come back once it is done so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so now we are done with the tracking and here you can see we have five nulls for all of these fingers and we can first go inside this and we can disable this curves we don't want to see it now we can start adding our text so for that let's select the text tool i'm going to type only the text that i'm going to place between these two fingers so let's just click and let's type design is and once you're happy with this we can change the color and font so i'm using this montserrat black font it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever font you want and for the color i'm going to like leave it to this one for now and let's enable the stroke and i'm going to set this to something like 10 and for the color you can pick whatever you want let's stick to this black color only once you're done with this we can create a mask so for that select the pen tool make sure that this is this layer is selected we are basically create going to create a two point mask so just click over here and then just click over here as well now we have these two points once you're done with this we can open up the mask property and make sure that this path is selected now we are going to create null from these two mask points so for that we are going to use another script that this script comes in built in after effects so just go to windows and you probably have to click on this down arrow to access the script so it is called create null from path just click on that and it will give you this talkable panel like that so make sure that this path is selected after that click on this point follow null and once you click it you can see that it will create these two points and we can like move this script for now once you're done with this we can go inside the text and under the path option you can see we have this option for this mask so i'm going to select this mask only now you can see that our text will align to this mask and using these points we can basically control our mask so if i move it you can see that our text is moving as well now we are going to parent these null to exactly to these points so let's quickly do that so we are going to parent this one to this over here so which is finger one so in order to parent it make sure to hold down the shift key and then click on this pick whip and just click on this finger and you can see that it will align itself over there for the second one we are going to like pin this to this finger too again hold on the shift key then click on this and drag it over here now you can see that these two points will align itself and our text is between these two fingers there are a few things that you have to take care of so first if i go inside we have this force alignment option if i turn this on now if i press play you can see that our text will stick between these two fingers nicely perfect now if you want you can like enable the reverse path then it will move upside down you can also add some margin if you want to like move the text like little bit away and there is one more thing you can also make it to something like that if you want to have it like that but i'm going to change this to perpendicular to path so we have this text now in the same way we can create other text between these two fingers as well now you can't just simply duplicate this and change the text and parent it because there are expressions that are involved and it won't work so in order to create the next text again just simply click and type whatever you want let's type simple and i'm going to change its color let's make it yellow and again let's create the mask so make sure that this is selected just click create two points for the mask let's open this up open the mask path and select this mask and we are going to use this click on this point from null once that is done you will get these two points let's go under the path option select the mask which we just created also let's enable the force align 
now we are going to parent these two these points only so this one this will go to this finger too so let's hold on the shift key and click and drag onto this finger too and let's select this one again hold on the shift key and this will go to finger three so now we have created the next text and it is aligned between these two fingers now if i press play you can see this text is also like perfectly aligned between these two fingers and in the same way you can like keep on going and keep on creating the other text between all of these fingers and once you're done with this you will get something like this there you go now we have added all of these text and the best thing is that you can change the text to whatever you want let's type animation and all the effects and everything will be perfectly aligned now here is the bonus part not only just text you can basically stick any object you want between these fingers now i'm going to show you how to put electricity between these two fingers so for that we can create a solid and let's make it black just click on that after that we are going to search for advanced lightning effect let's drag it onto this black solid and first thing i'm going to change this to strike now you can see we have these two points now we can basically parent these points to these two finger null objects and it will move so let me show you how to do that so instead of parenting we are going to basically use the expression for position so let's select this press p for position let's select this one press p for position as well now let's select this and for the origin i'm going to hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch now it will give me area where i can just simply pick whip and let's select the position number one like that now i'm going to hold on the alt key and click on this direction and it will give me the second area and under this one we are going to select the position number two for the finger two now if i press play you can see we have this electricity between these two points now in order to make this impressive we can probably change this to add like that again it's completely up to you can play around with these parameters however you want and in the same way you can basically duplicate this now if i press u twice it will give me these expressions now all we have to do is just simply change these expressions for this one we only have to change this which is pointing to the thumb because we want it point to this finger and for that we can pick whip and just select this one and there you go now we have pointed it to the other finger now we have this electricity between these two fingers and in the same way you can like keep on duplicating and just adding them between all of these other fingers so this is how you can create these kind of tracking finger animation in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one